Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to today's video. As a researcher, we need to collect primary data. And to collect the primary data, one of the easiest way, or one of the most effective way to collect primary data is survey questionnaire. Today, we are going to learn how we can use Google Forms to create survey questionnaire and distribute that questionnaire to the respondents and collect the responses from the respondents. So first of all, what we need to do, we have to open the Gmail account that we have and click on the menu button and select forms. So this is the forms interface. You will select blank. So a new form will be created and will be displayed. So you can name the form, for example, you name the form survey questionnaire. And normally, when you collect data, we used to put the name of the study. For example, the name of the study is like this. Investigating customers intention to use digital payment systems during online shopping in post pandemic. So you can put the study name and you can give a description, form description. So in this form description, normally we used to give something to the respondents that they need to know. For example, your response will be kept confidential and will be used only for study purpose. So we can, we can just, you can just write the form description. So normally in a study, in a survey questionnaire, there are two parts. The first part belongs to the demographic profile. The second part go, belongs to the measurement items. So let's start with some demographic info. First, we can put gender. You write gender. And gender, obviously, it's a multiple choice question because the respondent can select only one option. So it is male and another one is female. So here you will see there is a required button. Don't forget to put that, uh, put the click on this button because unless and until you click on this button, if someone misses this uh, question, he cannot submit the response until and until he responses properly. So next, what we need to do, we can add some more demographic profile so there is a button this button duplicate button so when you click on the duplicate button a new question will appear just like the same on the first one so the settings will be same as the first question so for our second question we can uh, we can take the information like income level it could be uh, 50,000 0 to 25,000 25,000 to 50,000 50,000 to 75,000 75,000 to 100,000 and so on you can add as much as uh, choice do you want to give to the respondents. So automatically you see the required button is all automatically on because we have just duplicate this question from the first one. Again, we can just add some more. We can take education label. The first one can be O levels, it can be A levels. Can be a graduate post graduation. So you will choose the options as you like. So these are the demographic part. Now the main measurement items. So for a study, there may be seven to eight or ten independent variables. There may be moderating variables and dependent variables. So based on your analysis and based on your literature review, you can adopt or adapt the questions 
So for this study, uh, we'll add now add questions. So I am, for example, the first question is like this. Digital payment system is a useful tool for conducting tran transactions. So when you are doing this, as we are using uh, Likert scale, so don't forget to select the linear scale button. So when you select linear scale, you can choose from where to where, one to five or one to seven or one to nine or 10. So there is options you can select. So for my study, I choose one to five. And for me, one means strongly disagree. And five means strongly agree with the statement. So like this way, we can add more questions and we can just put on this duplicate button. So the new question will appear. So you, you can add the next question The next question is already up. So the easy way what you can do, you can write this question in a what file and keep it there and copy the question from the what file to the Google form. And like this way, if you can add as many questions as you like. So after populating this survey questionnaire, the survey questionnaire will look like this. So you see there are a lot of questions and the respondents can choose their options. So now you want to send this survey questionnaire to the respondents. What you need to do, you have to select the send button. So you can send it via email, but the most popular option is using the link. You click on this button, you have the link, you can shorten this link you can copy, you can copy from here and send the link to the respondents. This could be an, a way or else you can directly send the email to the respondents. There may be group email. You can send this email to the group email or individual email. So this is the options. So this is how you send the survey questionnaire to the respondents. So what will happen? after they responded back. So when they responded back and submit their option, so when they open the file, they will see something like this. And after selecting the options, they, they will say, select submit. If all of the questions are answered, the Google form will collect the answers. So you see there is a star button after every question. This star button means this question is required you have to answer this until and unless the respondent answer all the questions he cannot submit the questionnaire so now suppose the respondents already response to the survey questionnaire so as as an administrator you what you can see the responses so the today's software are very updated you see you can easily see this charts that who are the respondents so for for this study there are 163 responses and we find 69.9 percent of the respondents are aged between 15 to 24. the gender majority is male 56.4 percent highest education level is bachelors so these are the question answer so a question now may appear in the mind. So I collected the responses. How we, I can transfer this data to the smart PLS or SPSS? So there is an easy way to do that. What you need to do, you have to just click on this button. So when you can, you can click on this button, you will see the responses in an Excel sheet. Here, it's all that you have the response. Or you can say download responses 
and you will have the responses in an Excel sheet. So when I open this Excel sheet, here is the response. You see, everything is already ready. So what you need to do, you can just, you can just move these demographic items and, and save a new file and import, export this file to the Smart PLS for the analysis. So this is how we can use Google Forms to create questionnaire and get back the responses from the respondents. I hope uh, this video will help you to collect uh, online questionnaire responses and it, it will be very beneficial for you. Thank you for your time.